Hey guys, we're gonna do some baked red snapper today, so we're gonna get right to it. Let's go ahead and rub down this red snapper with some avocado oil. We like to do that just to kind of keep this fish moist since it is going into the oven. Um, and this will also help the seasonings to stick to it and kind of get down in there, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer it to the pot that I'm gonna bake it in once I rub this down with this oil so that all the seasonings in that pot, if they happen to, in that pan, if they happen to fall off, um, we'll get them back once we add the water to the bottom and our fish will cook in that, all right? So let's go ahead and get the oven set at about 375. Um, and let's get going. We're gonna season this with some salt. We're gonna use some lemon pepper, some black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, paprika, and I also have some uh, bell pepper, some orange and green bell peppers chopped up to go on top of the fish as it goes in the oven for flavor, all right? So let's go ahead Get it seasoned up. Remember, you want to season your food really, really good. We don't want to overdo it, but let's go ahead and make sure we got it seasoned to taste. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Meanwhile, like I said, that oven is heating up so that once we're done, it'll be ready to pop right in, okay? So at this point, we have the garlic powder. We're gonna go ahead and add that. You know, very important ingredient. We're gonna also go in with this onion powder. All right, and we're gonna do some paprika for color. This, will, this is gonna make that fish really pretty at the end, you'll see. All right, and parsley, you know, um, parsley's gonna make everything good. And we'll season the second side with the parsley since that's the side that's gonna sit up, all right? So let's flip this fish over and repeat the same process. Okay, that's not a lot of salt. We're looking at about a pound and a half of fish. It may look like a lot, but it's not a lot of salt. And we do put a generous amount of lemon pepper because lemon pepper gives fish a really, really good flavor. Plus, we just like lemon pepper here. Lemon pepper's good on everything. It's good on oxtails, it's good on fish. Um, it's good on chicken too. And the reason it seems like we're, I'm shaking a lot on there is because it's a very small hole where that lemon pepper comes out. So not much comes out like the other seasonings do. Um, so like I said, we're gonna just repeat the same process. Make sure you have every angle seasoned um, so that once that fish is done, it's not bland at all. It's really flavorful. And these, these uh, bell peppers are gonna give it a really, really good flavor. Really good. So we chopped up, what I chopped up is probably two green bell peppers and one orange bell pepper. All right, so we're going in with that paprika now. Take a look at it, there it is. Everything is all seasoned up. So what we're gonna do is let's go with a little bit more black pepper. And you know what, with this recipe, now that I think about it, I added the parsley after the fish had been in the oven for about maybe 15, I'm sorry, maybe about seven minutes. Then I went in and added the parsley, okay? All right, so what I did, I also took a stick of butter and cut it up. I'm gonna put that in there for flavor. This is a water cup. We're gonna pour some water in there. You don't wanna pour the water directly on your fish because you don't wanna knock the seasonings off, but what you wanna do is pour some water in the corners so that it gets in the bottom of the pot. That kind of helps the juice that it's gonna cook in because remember, the seasoning is falling into that juice. The bell peppers are gonna season that juice, so that's gonna give the fish a really, really good flavor. And that butter is only gonna add to the flavor, all right? So what you wanna do is top it with these bell peppers and just add them right on top because they're all gonna render down right into the juices and into the meat. All right, so let's go ahead and add it. Like I said, we've got three bell peppers. We got two whole green ones and a whole yellow bell pepper. I know I said orange at first, but I meant yellow. Never used the orange bell pepper before. The yellow one kind of gives it a really, really good flavor. It's kind of a sweet bell pepper, I'd say. So it gives the fish, not, it doesn't make it sweet because the butter's gonna neutralize that and so is the salt. Um, oh, I'm sorry, so I did add the parsley before it goes in. 
All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Remember, you got that water at the bottom. You can take a look at how that juice looks, and that's gonna tell you if any seasoning has fallen in, and it kind of give you an idea of how that fish is gonna taste. So after this, what you wanna do is cover it with some aluminum foil, heat it in that oven for uh, 20 minutes. You don't have to turn it, you don't have to do anything. Just cover it with this foil, put it in there for 20 minutes, and after 20 minutes, take the lid off and let it cook under the broiler for two minutes just to get it brown. Put the broiler over low heat, put it up there for two minutes and it'll brown. And you got you some really, really good baked red snapper. And if you don't wanna use these seasonings I use, go on ahead and use your favorite seasonings. I, sometimes I use a garlic herb, all right? So, and here's our finished product right here. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. This is that baked red snapper.